Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I have with me Microsoft Surface Pro 9 and in this video I am going to talk about top 13 features which makes this tablet best choice for students. So let's start. The first feature is 2-in-1 laptop and tablet. So guys if you want to take the advantage of both laptop and tablet, Microsoft Surface Pro 9 is the best choice. You can use any app on this tablet because it runs on Windows 11 okay and you can also use Google Chrome with all different extensions which are really helpful in your studies the next feature is about multitasking so guys there are a lot of options of multitasking in this tablet for example I open uh, this Google Chrome I want to open four different apps in the split screen I can do it easily what I will do is I will just make it small like this and then what I will do I just press and hold it like this okay like that and then on the top you see there is a small window open so you can use any of these options about split screen for example i want to open four different apps which are here so i just put this app over here like that so you can see four different or apps are open now i can select any of these apps for example i select one app here and then i select this app over here okay and then i will select one app over here so you can see i have four different apps and i can work on all of these four apps together okay so this is really really amazing the next feature is about display so guys this tablet has 13 inch display and at the back side you have this built-in stand okay so you can see over here you can completely move it okay so you can see this is how it moves okay and then you can put it like this and then you can put it in the stand up position and then you can also put your keyboard over here you can also use your slim pen in this standing position the next feature that i'm going to talk about is the camera so guys at the back side we have 10 megapixel camera and we also have the front facing camera which is 1080p resolution so guys you can use these camera for making videos videos for taking pictures guys you can also use the back camera for scanning a document and you can also extract the text from that document so for example I have this document I will take the picture I will first of all open the Microsoft OneNote and then I select this pictures option I select this camera now I will try to take the picture and then I will show you how you can uh, extract the text okay so here is the picture okay so you can see I just take it now what I will do I will just use this picture in my Microsoft OneNote so here is the picture now I want to extract the text from this image what I will do I just press and hold it like this okay and then I select this copy text from picture okay and then I go down and then I will paste it I just press and hold it like this I select the paste option so here you can see the text is over here it extract from that image and guys if you want you can also edit this text as well the next thing is this front facing camera so you can use it for record a video or you can record a lecture so here you can see this record video option you just select it it will turn on the front camera and here you can see you can see your image over here and then you can make a video you can make a presentation uh, you can make your notes okay and then if you want you can also make it bigger like that okay so here is this uh, front uh, facing video camera the swapping between the apps is also very smooth and very easy so you can see I can easily smooth between different apps I can open different apps easily over here the next most important feature for students is note taking so you can use the Microsoft OneNote app it has all the necessary tools and it is pre-installed in this tablet so if you want to uh, try to draw different neat shapes you can use it and then if you want to insert different images you can insert it online directly from the Microsoft OneNote so here you can see it will open the Bing search you can search any image from here for example I search heart anatomy okay so I will write over here and then I press enter so it will open the results for me and I can use this image into my Microsoft OneNote you can also insert text from website you can select this review option select this smart lookup option and here you can search anything for example here I search brain anatomy I will type over here brain anatomy and then I press enter so it will show me the results okay from different websites I can open this website directly from here 
okay so the website will open and then if i want i can also copy the text okay so i can just select it okay i just copy it and then what i will do i will just paste it into my one note okay so i just put it over here so here is the text you can also use other tools i made a separate video about microsoft one note you can have a look on it the next thing that i am going to talk about is microsoft slim pen 2 so guys this pen has a lot of functionality with surface pro 9 first of all you can use it for note taking for handwriting okay and you can also use the back side of pen as eraser so here you can see i can use it as eraser there are other functions as well so for example if i use this back button i can press it two times like this and it will open the sticky notes for me if i press and hold it like this it will open the microsoft whiteboard where i can uh, use different functions then if i press it one time i can use it to take the screenshot as well there are other functions as well you can just go into the settings and then go into the bluetooth devices and pen and windows ink option so here you can see a lot of functionality you can do with this slim pen 2 guys please note that this slim pen 2 does not come with the tablet you have to buy it separately and the price is 92 dollars so guys if you are planning to buy surface pro 9 i suggest you to buy this slim pen 2 because of its functionality the next feature is microsoft Microsoft Office. So guys, Microsoft Office is pre-installed with Excel, PowerPoint and Microsoft Word, but it is not free. You have to pay for it. You can use the web version, which is completely free. Uh, and the website is office.com. You can create your account and you can use Microsoft Word. You can use Microsoft Excel and you can also use Microsoft PowerPoint. Uh, the next thing is you can also use your Slim Pen in all of these apps. For example, if you want to use it as laser pointer, during your presentation you can use it as well so here you can see there is a laser pointer option so you can use it to highlight something in your presentation you can also use slim pen in microsoft excel so here you can see we have this draw option available you can select any pen and then you can write on your excel as well you can also use the highlighter option so here is the highlighter option if you want to zoom and you want to highlight uh, some uh, figures over here in your excel you can do it as well you can also make your assignments in microsoft word and then once you finish you can also download it in your tablet as well so here you see this option of save as just select it and here you can see we have the option of download a copy or you can download it as pdf or download as odt file the next feature is about screen recording so if you want to record any kind of lecture or any presentation you can do it as well so for example in microsoft one note i want to uh, make some kind of a presentation with my notes what i will do i just select uh, this bar and then here you see this pen option and then here i select this snipping tool so once you select it here you will see this option of camera and this video option so if you just select this video option then select this new option so once you select it here you can select any area in your tablet for example i want to select this area okay now whatever i will do in this area it will screen record i just select this start option okay and then after um, this countdown i can do whatever i want i can write over here okay and then if you want you can insert any kind of shape okay so for example here you can see i make different shapes you can also insert any picture so all your work you can do over here in this screen recording and then once you finish you can just stop it and then you can share it with your students so here you can see i play it so this is how it looks like and then if you want you can save it you can share it with your colleagues as well the next feature is about multi desktop option so guys here you can see this icon it's about multi desktop options so you can open one desktop you can work on different apps on this desktop now if you want to change and you want to open a new desktop you can do it as well so here if you just select this icon over here so this is the desktop one you can directly go to the desktop 2 with a complete new look okay so here you can see there are no uh, same apps you can open new apps here you can do new work over here and if you want to switch uh, to the other desktop it is very easy just select this icon from here and then you can move to desktop one so same way you can create new desktop so this is desktop 3 
three this is desktop four so you can create multiple desktops and you can work in all of these desktops separately the next feature is focus mode so if you want to focus on your studies you can enable this option just go to the settings okay and then uh, go to the system okay and once you enter into the system you will see this option of focus just select it once you select it here you can uh, do all your customization for example i select this start focus session so once you start it it will open a timer over here okay and then if you want to edit you can also edit it you can do all your activities you can uh, restrict some of the apps that you don't want to uh, use during your studies and if you select this icon over here it will show you all the progress so here you can see it is showing you your daily progress your focus period okay and then it is also showing you the task so you can add task okay and then if you want you can link it to your spotify and then we have this timer option so you can customize different timers you can set the alarm you can also select the stopwatch option so there are a lot of things that you can do in the focus section the next feature is about pdf annotation so i'm using this third party app which is zodo so you can download it from microsoft store or you can also download uh, from any of your internet browser so here we have all different uh, tools available on top so for example if you want to use the highlighter tool you can use the highlighter you can use the underline tool okay or you can use this uh, strike out tool as well if you want to write something with your pen you can also write so you can annotate your pdf if you want to uh, draw any kind of shape you can also draw so all the annotation tools are available in this app the next feature is a about drawing so guys i'm using this adobe fresco okay so you can use any app so you can use it for drawing and the slim pen tool is really effective in drawing so here you can see we have different brushes option we have different colors option so you can select any color then you can draw then we have other tools also available over here so for example like this jitter you can use it as well okay so different tools available over here in this adobe fresco which will be really helpful for you for drawing the next feature is about downloading apps so you can download apps from microsoft store as well so guys for example here you see this microsoft store icon just select it and then here you can select this apps option and here you can search for any app for example i just write here uh, productivity okay so i just select this productivity okay and then i press enter so here it will show me all the productivity apps uh, that i can use as a student so here you can see we have different note taking app we have this adobe app adobe acrobat reader uh, then we have this microsoft 365 super productivity okay so all the different productivity apps are available here that you can use and these apps will be helpful in your studies so guys this is for today's video i hope you like the video i hope you enjoy the video so please subscribe to my channel thank you very much